Hey everybody, welcome back to another episode of Banjo Kazooie. Um, today we're going to be going on Freeze Easy Peak. Um, the audio is back, you may have noticed that. Um, I think it was a problem with Premiere. It decided to save last episode's audio as blank, but the audio came back today. I don't know what happened, but I'm just glad it's back. So, um, you get a green present. Okay, we got a green present. Okay. So last story, I mean last episode, I told you guys a little story. Um, I don't think I have any more good stories like that. Um. So I'll just I'll just talk. Um, again, I have to say uh, these are being re-recorded, pre-recorded. Um, so if you made any comments about me, uh, I haven't read them. Um, I probably won't read them. I, I'm pretty sure I've said this like a million times already. Um, yeah, I record all these pre pre done. Uh, by how I'm going, I'll probably get the whole whole game finished before I even start uh, uploading them. Like I'll get the whole series edited and recorded before they start even being uploaded. Ugh, how many times have I repeated myself? Um, okay, so we're just getting some more notes. Those are pretty cool and good. Jumbo. <laughs> and that's better. Hey, you found my sled. Yeah, I did. I did. I can't just like make noise. I gotta gotta entertain the audience, alright? <laughs> Let's throw some presents. Whoa! Hey, uh, Kobe! Ha! Ha 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 ha! Uh, I wonder how outdated the, that saying is by the time this episode comes out. It's outdated when I say it. That seems to happen a lot. I just say outdated memes. Because I think that memes start out funny, and they get painfully unfunny. And then they become funny again. It's pretty cool. Um, yeah, Wogger's a xenophobe. Doesn't like, or oh, was a not Wogger. Was is a xenophobe. He doesn't like bears and birds, I guess. <sighs> I think I'm making pretty good time on my uh, series. I'm already up to freeze easy peak, and this is episode 13, the unlucky number. But um. Yeah. Let's go over to Mumbo. Mumbo Jumbo. Go. Uh -huh. Um yeah. Uh, Mumbo Jumbo is a uh, a thief. He or a kidnapper. He kidnapped this ginger and was holding it in his attic along with some musical notes. Who knows why he did that? I don't. I should have drank some water before I started this. My throat is so parched. Um, let me know if you like me doing these voices. I do some like, voice inflection. It probably adds some life to my character. And I think that's what my character needs, some life. Uh, unless it's like a Halloween and it's a zombie speaking. Uh, I mean, it is getting close to Halloween as I'm recording this, but it's not Halloween itself. Um, found all a hundred notes. That's a pretty epic. Um, all right. Um, this only took me one try. I'm um, say that 
in confidence because the one where you play as banjo took me more than one try. Um, quite a few, in fact. Uh, but you'll only see one try, so I'll say that I only took one try on that. If you're wondering why, um, uh, you probably can't tell, but right now I'm on an exercise ball to try and exercise. Get some core strength, as they say. Um, it's pretty epic. Uh, I've been doing the uh, count, count, counting calories diet, and that's been working pretty well for me, but I'm also doing some running. Uh, you know, I, I wasn't really that overweight when I started. I was just like, yeah, you know, I don't think I should be eating this much and just sitting still for this long. So I'm going to try and improve my fitness. Hopefully I, I can become, like, fitter. Fitter. I never dunked a ball in basketball. Um, I might have dunked a ball. I don't know. There's a secret room where you can get some honeycomb and items. Wake up, Mumbo. I need to turn back to a bear. I don't know. I just feel stupid saying that. Or oh, uh, doing voices like that. You know what I'm saying? My friends say, why is again the ball game? Check this out, guys. I do it on my first try. Um, while we do this, I'm going to tell you guys a little story. Um, because I just found one in my phone. Uh, that's why I was like, um, and on. Um. Yeah. So, uh, way back in high school, I don't remember when to get, uh, we went on a camping trip. And in that camp, there were cabins. And in those cabins was something really comfortable. Uh, closets. They were chair high, you could sit in them. Uh, whatever. In the cabin with me, there are a group of what you call cool kids, aka white boys with a lot of money. Um, they had fake electronic cigarettes, you know, the vapes. And one of them, one day, one of them pulls out a bag of marijuana, the Mary Jane, the sticky icky. <laughs> and uh, the teachers didn't notice because he hid it inside of the light bulb. Um, I don't know why the teachers didn't think that the light bulb was strange at all. Um, <laughs> but he walks into the bathroom with a lighter, deodorant, a pack of, a, a back of the pack of a toothbrush lighter. Not a toothbrush lighter, what am I talking about? A tooth a toothbrush case. Also, I just got another stop and swap item. Um, yeah, two other guys go into the bathroom as well. I assume they're token. Uh, and then, later on, like quite a while later, like 10 minutes or something, uh, one of them comes out, stumbling around and giggling to himself. I don't know if he was like pretending to be high. Um, yeah, the other comes out and walks into three walls and then falls into a closet. Um, and they both fell asleep pretty quickly. I don't know. I don't know if they were, like, pretending. I mean, I've never smoked marijuana myself. But uh, I don't think it makes you act drunk. So, uh, but they both fell asleep, one in the closet, one on the floor. And then... Oh, you see how close that was? And then, in the middle of the night, I just hear one of them going, What the hell am I doing in a closet? I woke people up. 